a clearly marked vertical line seen on the Apollo mount, that's the mount underneath the ring finger, is exactly what you want to see in this area. It shows an indication of greatness and success. It shows glory, wealth, and fortune. And these things are brought about by a person's capabilities, by their talents in their career. Essentially, this is a sun line or an Apollo line, success line, and it's exactly what you want to see in this area. And it shows that success at the end of a person's career. It shows how their patient of their abilities has enabled them to achieve this success at the end of the road of their career. Cross on the Apollo mount is not a good sign. It shows that that an error essentially in the pursuit of attaining that glory and that fortune and success. It shows blunder, it shows misfortune, bad judgment made. It's also linked to the arts and creativity. So you would expect to see this on the hand of, say, a director, a film producer who had um, promised everybody in the industry this, this amazing film, and it might have been their first film and it ended up just completely flopping. Or an art dealer who somehow um, bought and sold a load of works thinking they'd made lots of money and actually they'd sold it for a lot less than they should have. Something like that. I mean, I'm not providing the best examples here, but it shows essentially errors made due to poor judgment. And if I had seen this in anyone's hand, I'd probably advise balance in their approach to situations where they stood to succeed, balance in approach to opportunities. Now, a triangle on the Apollo mount is quite an interesting one because it shows the ability to apply a logic and a great sort of scientific mind towards art or the artistic, you know, industries. So you might see this on the hand of someone who had made a career out of analysing uh, great works under a microscope. Triangles are always fortunate, and it's certainly uh, successful. Certainly, a sign of success and fortune through study and a person with this certainly has artistic ability and a good mind for the arts but also it's it's linked to science in some degree great study so the success that's you know created here is through their own hard work so it's well-deserved success i find the star on the apollo mount a really interesting one because it shows fame and wealth uh, sudden fame and wealth, but not without hard work or some extremely potentially fatal position that they've put themselves in or, or just been through somehow. So a person with this might be someone who had risked their lives to save others and become famous through it. Or it might be that they had worked hard their entire lives um, uh, seemingly to, to no end, all of a sudden only to be recognized for their efforts somehow and, and achieving great fame and wealth. There is, however, a very strange association about the star on the Apollo mountain. Whilst it shows this sudden rise to um, fame and wealth, it doesn't prove a person's happiness. It doesn't mean this person will be happy. It certainly means that they will be, um, there'll be sudden fame. Or, and or wealth, but that doesn't mean that they will be happy. And in fact, it has an association here with some sort of negativity around death, that death in some way is intertwined with their fame and wealth. So I find this marking quite a, a mixed blessing and um, a bit of a double-edged sword. Essentially, there's a shadow that hangs over this person. Squares are protective. They are almost always protective in palmistry. And the square seen on the Apollo mount protects a person's success. So it's, it's, it's enabling, but also it protects a person from becoming corrupted by that success. It certainly points towards artistic success, creative success, 
a person with this marking will always remain themselves. It doesn't matter how many friends or followers, how much influence they have, how, much, how f famous they are, their character will not change. They'll still always be that same quirky, artistic, creative self. And that ability to remain grounded, to not let all of that uh, success and um, notoriety get to them, is is also in line with that, that kind of grounded thinking with with business as well. They they keep quite a level head on them. They've probably got a good mind for business as well. Rules are never really positive signs. In fact, I don't think they are positive at all, or ever could be. It shows an imbalance, essentially, in in hormones, and, and this creates a, a lack of balance mentally. And someone with this marking on the Apollo Mount would certainly be someone who is lacking in um, deserving artistic and creative success. However, they likely believe this is what they deserve, and also that they're probably feel as though their achievements, their talents are not recognized. Someone with this marking um, is prone to vanity, you know, vain exploits, and uh, considers themselves in quite high regard, quite self-concerned, and as I say, probably not balanced in their, uh, their, their approach, in the way that they think about themselves and their capabilities. As always, I'm ending on a positive note. Let me know what your thoughts are on this video. Perhaps you've got one of these markings. These aren't all the markings on the Apollo map, but it's uh, just a short video on some of the rare signs. Please check out my other videos. Please like, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.